Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have another dragon figure to review for you. Um, before I do that though, I just want to thank you guys um, for everything. Uh, I just reached 100 subscribers the other day and uh, that really made my day, really made me excited. Uh, I never thought I'd get up to that many subscribers, so thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to this channel and uh, really appreciate it. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. So now, let's get to the review. Um, like I said, got another dragon figure. This guy is named Nico Han. And uh, he's really cool. So here's the box. Here's the figure. Very nice looking. Uh, World War II, Greece 1944. Police Division Platoon Leader. Okay, inside of the box, that side of the box, back of the box, got some cool equipment there. Okay, and this figure was released in 2006, so kind of a newer one. Alright, so there's the box, and uh, here's the figure. So a very nice figure. I was really impressed with this one. Uh, really great detailing on the uniform and uh, just with his weapons. Very, very cool and very unique, I think. So really glad I picked this guy up. Uh, I think I got him for like 38 bucks off eBay, so not bad. Okay, so there's the figure. All right. First, I want to show you his weapon here. It's got this really cool uh, machine gun. The name of it is a Vollmer ERMA MPE submachine gun. Kind of a mouthful, but that's what it is, and it's a very cool looking gun. So there he is holding it. Okay, also has a nice uh, strap there, a leather strap, it's pretty cool. But uh, here it is, really a nice weapon, I really like this gun, very unique looking. I really like the uh, handle grip there, that's really cool. Okay, this can be pulled back, and uh, you can see there the bullet inside, that's pretty cool. And also, the sights can be put up. And there's the magazine. Okay, so very nice weapon. Now, this figure does come with two hats. So, for the first hat, we got this cool looking uh, cap here. It's very nice, makes him look very official. Okay, for the second, it comes with this nice uh, helmet. And the thing I love about this helmet is that it's actually uh, made from metal. Uh, I don't have any helmets that are actually pure metal. And this is really cool. Usually my helmets are plastic, but this is metal. Uh, so I wasn't expecting that. It was a nice surprise, and it's really cool. So this headpiece can also that's also attached inside to give his head padding. That's very nice. So let me go ahead and put this on his head. Okay. So there he is with his helmet on. It looks really nice. I really like the leather strap around it. Got some uh, insignias there. Okay, very, very nice. And I, I just can't get over how this is metal. I really think that's cool. It's a very nice helmet. Okay, 
So next, let's uh, check out his belt, because he's got a lot of cool stuff here. Got a pistol holster there, pistol inside, extra magazines. Okay, got a canteen. Uh, got this tin uh, canister there. So I'll get go ahead and take off the belt so we can take a look at this stuff. All right. So yeah, we do have some extra magazines inside. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Got your canteen. Got one of these canisters here. Pretty nice. And uh, this is really cool here. It comes with a pistol. Let me go ahead and take this out. It's kind of hard to put in the holster. But uh, here's the pistol. Uh, really, really nice. Great detailing on it. So there's the magazine and uh, you can pull this back which is really nice and if you put the clip in you can see the bullet there so that's really cool let me put it in his hand and there he is holding his pistol okay so really cool gun All right, he does come with a pair of binoculars here. Let's go ahead and take that off. That's pretty cool. And he uh, does have some insignias here. Um, that was a sticker that has to be put on. Same with these shoulder pads here. Those have to be put on. And, uh, got some other insignias here. These are all manually put on. Also got this little badge, which is pretty cool. You can just tuck that on his jacket. Okay, so the jacket's really nice. I really like the camouflage on that. It looks really cool. I'll go ahead and take that off though, so we can see what's underneath. Okay, so there's the jacket. And here is his basic uniform without anything on. Got a cool uh, shirt there. I like his trousers, those are pretty cool. And uh, I really like his boots. Those are very, very nice. Okay, and the last thing I guess is his head sculpt. I forgot to show that, so here's his head sculpt. Okay, pretty nice looking head sculpt. Uh, yeah, pretty unique looking. Looks pretty intimidating if you ask me. Definitely looks like a natural born leader. So a pretty cool head sculpt. And overall, a very, very nice figure. So I totally recommend this guy. If you can find him, I think he's really cool. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the review, guys. <clears throat> um, I mentioned in my last video that I have uh, two more figures on the way, another dragon figure and another G.I. Joe figure. I know it's been a while since I've done a G.I. Joe review, so I'm really looking forward to reviewing that figure for you. So thanks for watching, and once again, thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you next time.